Hello all, welcome to part one of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain what is TestNG. In other words, it is an introduction to TestNG to understand what exactly is TestNG to get started. So let's get started. So what is TestNG? TestNG is a unit testing framework. Okay. So to get started, to get started, we can call TestNG as a unit testing framework, but by the end of this topic, okay, when I complete this topic, I'll be calling this TestNG with a different name, but to understand it in a sequential manner, to get started, let's call TestNG as a unit testing framework, but I'll change it by the end of the topic. I'll call it by a proper name by the end of the topic, okay? So here in TestNG, NG stands for next generation. Okay, next generation guys. So, and this test ng is a unit testing framework for now can be used with only the Java programming language. You cannot use test ng with other programming languages like C sharp or Python. Okay, only with Java, only when you are working with Java programming language, test ng can be used. Okay, why test ng has to be used? What is this unit testing framework? Everything will be clear for you guys. Just understand at a high level for now. Test ng is a unit testing framework for now. By the end of the topic, I'll give a proper name for what I will I'll explain what exactly is test ng. It's not just that unit testing framework, it is more than that. That I'm going to explain you or okay, uh, or show you by the end of the topic. Okay. And in this test ng, ng stands for next generation, I told you, and it only supports the which programming language? Java programming language. If you are a developer or software tester who is working with Java programming language and you want to implement this unit testing framework in your project, then you have to go for test ng. Okay. Because test ng only supports Java programming language. But if you are using any other programming language other than Java, let's say for a develop, developer or tester is using C sharp or Python or any other programming language other than Java, can you use test ng as your unit testing framework? No, in your project, you cannot use test ng. So what if in case uh, you're, uh, you are using other programming language, for example, if you are using C sharp, so if not test ng, what I have to use? I have to use the n unit, okay? So there are other things also. And if in case of Java, we have JUnit and TestNG. In case of Python, we have PyTest and many other stuff. JavaScript, we have J Jasmine, uh, Jasmine or Jasmine and many other stuff, okay? Many other unit testing frameworks are there. But if you are working with Java programming language, we have to use TestNG as a unit testing framework for now, okay? So uh, the developer of the TestNG, the, the one who is the creator of the TestNG, okay, has got inspired with JUnit and NUnit and then has come up with this next generation unit testing framework known as test ng okay so due to the limitations that are there in this j, j unit and uh, that particular creator is unable to do something that j in it, using j unit because j unit is not supporting that person to do something that that per particular person wanted to do in that case okay uh, from that space uh, this test ng got evolved okay so finally that that person decided to create a new unit testing framework Okay, by getting inspired with JNIT and unit and its limitations to overcome the limitations of JNIT and unit, TestNG got created, okay, by the developer of the TestNG. Fine, developers, okay, the developers who are developing the applications use TestNG for automating their unit tests. You see, there are different levels of software testing, if you remember, okay. If you are into software testing, you there are different levels of software testing like uh, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing. The first level of software testing is unit testing and second level is integration testing. Both this unit testing and integration testing are generally done by developers. So developers actually use TestNG as a unit testing framework while performing or automating, okay? Or automating this unit testing and unit tests and run them, okay? So there will be thousands of unit tests and with a single click uh, with the help of this uh, TestNG unit test, all these unit tests will run. And uh, unit, tests is, unit tests are like, unit is a piece of, uh, uh, code guys, which is which cannot be broken further. You see, entire code has been written for the application. At that entire application code can be broken down into smallest parts known as units. You cannot broke further, guys. Okay. One of the example of a unit can be uh, as simple as a method. Okay. So method in taking some uh, parameters and uh, giving some result. Okay. So uh, such kind of uh, code can be called as a unit, guys. That method cannot be broken further for testing. Okay. We pass different values to the parameters and we'll get a different result. 
we will try all the varieties or all the testing we will do like uh, what if i give positive values whether this particular method is giving me a proper result if i give negative values if i don't uh, if i give zeros what's happening okay so all those stuff will test as part of the unit unit is a, a kind of code piece of code which is broken from the complete application code and which cannot be broken further okay such kind of units can be tested by the developers with the help of unit testing okay and for automating the unit test, we need a unit testing framework known as test engine, guys. Okay, the first level of uh, testing that is unit testing can be automated uh, by developers with the help of the unit testing framework known as test engine. Okay, but it's not only meant for the developers for performing or automating the unit test, but also same time the software testers can also use test engine for automating the UI, API, and mobile tests. Okay, the uh, testers. You can specially call these testers as also automation testers or normal testers, whatever it is. Okay, they can use this test ng, okay, that we are for now calling as unit testing framework. Okay, not only for unit testing, but also for UI testing, automating the UI tests, okay, function functional UI tests, API tests, and mobile application tests can be automated, guys, with the help of uh, as part of uh, the pro in the projects. Uh, you the projects that are being used for automating the UI API and mobile test can also use test ng uh, to make this automation more better. Okay, more organized and all those stuff. A lot of benefits are there. Okay, uh, the reason why we use test ng in this uh, automation projects. Okay, so in case of UI automation, the uh, the famous tool we have is Selenium uh, test automation tool, which generally is used for uh, UI test uh, testing automation. Selen uh, test ng can be used with Selenium. Okay, at same time. Uh, for mobile automation, we use a tool known as APM. Okay, Selenium can be used with sorry, a, a test engine can be used with APM. Okay, test engine can be used with APM. For API testing automation, we use a tool uh, known as Rest Assured. Rest Assured framework we can call, and test engine can be used with Rest Assured. Okay, for automating the API test. So not only automating the unit test, but also we can automate the UI test, mobile test, API test. So and test ng is free and open source guys. On the top of this, test ng is free and open source. You don't have to pay a single rupee or buck, okay? Uh, single buck to use this test ng because it's free and open source, okay? And test ng is powerful than JNIT, okay? Uh, to overcome the limitations of the JNIT, the creator of the test ng has created this test ng. It's the next generation. Ng stands for next generation. You already know. So how test ng has become powerful than JNIT? What test? Uh, what makes uh, test ng a powerful? Than the JNIT, okay? JNIT mostly intended for only unit testing purpose. Here, I told you, test engine can be not only used for unit testing, but also can be used for UI testing automation, mobile testing automation, and API testing automation. Not only unit testing automation, but also UI, mobile, API. But JNIT, okay, mostly used for unit testing only. It's more is designed for, okay? I cannot say uh, I cannot say that it cannot be used for uh, UI testing automation, but I can say that JNIT is actually designed for. Okay, specially designed for unit testing automation. Okay, but does not support end-to-end -end test automation much. That means it supports, but not really. Okay, not really to the extent where test engine is supporting the end-to-end -end test automation. Okay, that's where is the limitation of the JNIT, guys. Test engine has the ability to write more flexible and powerful tests. How can I say that uh, uh, test engine has more flexibility and it's a powerful than JNIT? So these are the uh, reasons I can give you to prove that test ng has the ability to write more flexible and powerful tests first of all test ng is easier to use okay test ng is easier to use if you use jnit and test ng you will feel that test ng is more easier than jnit okay and easy annotations because test ng has easy annotations okay the naming of the annotations is very good in test ng when compared to the jnit and grouping of the tests okay we can group the tests for example if you want to run only the automation tests related to the smoke testing that is possible with test ng guys okay you can mark those uh, automation test cases okay uh, which are used with test ng uh, and group them as smoke testing and smoke testing and run only that uh, set of group okay set of group automation tests sequencing the order in which they get executed okay there are some different attributes in test ng which uh, sequence like in which order okay if you go to jnit and try sequencing right that is very difficult in jnit guys okay uh, there is no proper uh, mechanism in jnit it has a limitation where uh, uh, you know right you have to change it alphabetical and all those stuff but uh, see, uh, in case of uh, test ng uh, they are providing some attributes by providing the attributes beside this uh, annotations 
we can achieve the sequencing properly okay which one should be executed first which one should be executed second all those things we can that control we have we'll get more control we'll get in sequencing in terms of test ng okay parameterizing the test data driven testing is possible using test ng guys okay so there may be some automation test okay and but multiple sets of data that automation tests need to run the number of times the test data is there for example admin credentials the same login test has to run login automation test has to run teacher credentials same login automation test has to run in this case you should not write the same automation test 100 times if 100 credentials are there which need to be checked whether uh, using 100 credentials we are able to log in or not okay all these 100 credentials users are able to log in or not if that is a requirement you should not be writing 100 automation tests only one login automation test you will write and with the help of this parameterizing test using test ng that is a uh, data driven testing is possible where to the single automation script okay you will create another method which is going to pass the test data 100 sets of test data and get the output okay such kind of things are possible in para uh, Test ng guys, okay. This data driven testing, how parameterization testing is possible. I will explain practically, guys. All these things I'm going to explain practically. For now, it is a theoretical. Uh, try to understand at your level, okay. It generates HTML report, guys. Some test results report will be generated, test ng results uh, to see how many tests got uh, failed, passed, and skipped, and all those results will come in this HTML reports. Grouping the test cases is possible. Already done, right? This is uh, grouping the test cases. And uh, more annotations are available, guys. Okay, more annotations are available. So compared to JNet, uh, TestNG comes with more annotations like uh, before suite, uh, after suite, or suit. Okay, before test, after test, before group, after group. Because of, because of this, uh, more annotations available in TestNG. Uh, hence, more flexibility is possible. I I was saying here, right? TestNG has ability to write more flexible and powerful tests. I told you. Okay, because of this nature of having more annotations than the JNet. Okay. Uh, because of having more annotations, more flexibility is coming to test ng than j in it. Parallel execution, guys. At the same time, you can run multiple automation scripts, okay? Multiple automation scripts, okay? Instead of running one automation script after another, using test ng, we can enable the parallel execution where you can run two, three, four automation scripts at the same time just to save the time, okay? And many more, uh, many more things are there, guys, which makes test ng more flexible and powerful than the j in it. Okay. So now, finally, to conclude, in the beginning, I was saying that TestNG is a unit testing framework. But I will change this. OK, I'll change this line, guys. OK, I should not be calling the TestNG as a unit testing framework. Just to get started, because you are new to TestNG, you have to understand that TestNG is a unit testing framework. OK, just for understanding, we are uh, calling in the beginning as unit testing framework. But by end, I'm calling it as a testing framework. OK, instead of I'm calling it as a unit testing framework. We need to call TestNG as a testing framework because TestNG is not only used for automating the unit test, but also for automating the UI tests, API tests, and mobile application tests, right? TestNG is not just limited to uni unit testing automation, but also we can automate the UI tests, UI functional tests, API tests, and mobile app mobile tests. Hence, TestNG is a testing framework. We have to call it as a since it can be used for unit testing, integration testing, end-to-end -end functional testing, UI testing, and API testing, and all mobile testing, and all. Okay, we can call TestNG as a testing framework rather than a unit testing framework. Okay, we have to hence call TestNG as a testing framework. When someone asks you in the interviews, okay, what is TestNG? Okay, you just mentioned that. Okay, TestNG is a testing framework. Instead of saying that it is a unit testing framework, you just mentioned that as a testing framework and say that okay uh, it automates the unit tests and hence it also can be called as a unit testing framework but since it also uh, uh, it since it also supports automating the ui test mobile test and uh, api test uh, at the integration and end to end testing level okay it can also be called as a it should be called as you can say okay instead of saying instead of calling that as a unit testing framework we have to call testing as a testing framework so finally, what is TestNG, guys? It is a testing framework, OK? It's not just a unit testing framework. It is a testing framework. With this explanation, you should understand, OK, what exactly is TestNG? That is, TestNG is a unit testing framework. And also, I compared TestNG with JNIT and showed you how powerful the TestNG is when compared to JNIT and the limitations of JNIT and uh, the flexibility and power of TestNG over JNIT I covered in this what is TestNG topic. So hope guys you understood what is test ng in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test ng topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.